In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries, we call to mind <clears throat> our sins. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 Let us pray. Pardon the offences of your peoples, we pray, O Lord, and in your goodness set us free from the bonds of the sins we have committed in our weakness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated for the reading. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I hear the whisperings of many, terror on every side. Denounce, let us denounce him. All those who are my friends are on the watch for any missteps of mine. Perhaps he will be trapped, then we can prevail and take our vengeance on him. But the Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble, they will not triumph. In their failure, they will be put to utter shame, to lasting, unforgettable confusion. O Lord of hosts, you who test the just, who probe mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, the responsorial is, in my, in my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. I love you, O Lord, my strength. O Lord, my rock, my fortress, my deliverer. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. My God, my rock of refuge, my shield, the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. Praise be the Lord, I exclaim, and I am safe from my enemies. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. The breakers of death surged round about me. The destroying floods overwhelmed me. The cords of the nether world enmeshed me. The snares of death overtook me. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. In my distress, I called upon the Lord and cried out to my God. From his temple, he heard my voice, and my cry to him reached his ears. In my distress, I called upon the Lord, and he heard my voice. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. Glory, Glory to you, God, Word of God, Jesus. Lord Jesus Christ. Your words, Lord, are spirit and life. You have the words of everlasting life. Glory to you, Word of God, Lord Jesus Christ. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. The Jews picked up rocks to stone Jesus. Jesus answered them, I have shown you many good works from my Father. For which of these are you trying to stone me? The Jews answered him, we are not stoning you for a good work, but for blasphemy. You, a man, are making yourself God. 
Jesus answered them, Is it not written in your law, I said, You are gods? If it calls them gods, to whom the word of God came, and scripture cannot be set aside, can you say that the one whom the Father has consecrated and sent into the world blasphemes, because I said, I am the Son of God? If I do not perform my Father's works, do not believe me. But if I perform them, even if you do not believe me, believe the works so that you may realize and understand that the Father is in me and I am in the Father. Then they tried again to arrest him, but he escaped from their power. He went back across the Jordan the place where John first baptized, and there he remained. Many came to him and said, John performed no sign, but everything John said about this man was true, and many there began to believe in him. My sisters, my brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Here we have Jesus beginning his ministry, and some do not accept him, and some do. And as we know the history of Jesus' life, that when he did all his preaching, finally they got the Jewish people, the Sanhedrin, not the people themselves, but those in authority, threw him in prison. And that began the saga of his passion and death. That as we're moving forward, we move towards the crucifixion and death of Jesus on Good Friday. And so at this time of Lent, we are reminded what Christ did for us. He gave his life for us. Now you have experienced yourselves in life that you've known people parents perhaps, that if a child is sick, your child is ill, you will do anything to save that child. In fact, you'd give your life in exchange for the child, if that were possible. And so, here is the Son of God, God's Son, who came on this world for one purpose only, to come to us, to touch our hearts, those who've gone before us, and give us the truth. That this life, which is precious, none of us are running and looking forward to death, but will come sometime. We're not going to live here forever. We're passing through. And so it's that final stage when we are called forth, when the Father calls us, come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will take care of you. And that is for us, where we are heading for, is heaven. That's our goal. Our goal is our knowledge of Jesus Christ, that you and I, we believe in him. That he did come on this earth. That he did die on the cross for love of you, for me, for all humankind. Of all religions or no religions, people, he died for everyone. And he would wish and pray that every person that has come and has gone would enter his kingdom in heaven. And that's why we're here on earth. This passage is only for a time, and he will be calling us home whenever that is. Our goal, just as you have goals in your life, goals you have for your children, goals you and your wife have for each other, so also, we have a heavenly Father who has goals for each one of us to come home, to come home. And like the prodigal son or the prodigal daughter, that we come home to a loving Father who receives us into his arms and who opens the kingdom of heaven to us. Amen. Amen.
God, our loving Father, we come before you and we bring our needs to you. We pray for the Church, and we are the Church united with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, with Archbishop Corda Leone, with all of God's people, that we may be men of deep faith and love. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we, are. we pray for this terrible pandemic that has hit us here in the United States and across the states, and indeed in all so many areas of the world, that an end to this terrible pandemic may soon, soon occur. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Our prayer. We pray for your spouse, your children, your families, for God's blessing upon them, for God's blessing upon me, that we will be faithful to Jesus in our vocations. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for all those who are ill and have been struck by this pandemic, that God may comfort them and heal them. We pray to the Lord. Lord, pray our prayer. And for all your own intentions known to yourselves and to God alone, for these we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. our prayer. God, our loving Father, we know that you hear every prayer which we make in faith through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this bread to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine, the work of human hands, will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. forever. Brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his church. Grant, O merciful God, that we may be worthy to serve ever fittingly at your altars and there to be served, saved by constant participation through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For through the saving passion of your Son, the whole world has received a heart to confess the infinite power of your majesty since by the wondrous power of the cross, your judgment on the world is now revealed and the authority of Christ crucified. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as in exaltation we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. <clears throat> Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, with Archbishop Cordeleone and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of that <clears throat> by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Brothers, the peace of the Lord be with you always. With Let us offer each other a sign of Christ's peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the unfailing protection of the sacrifice we have received never leave us, O Lord, and may it always drive far from us all that would do us harm through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Prayer over the people. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that your servants who seek the grace of your protection may be free from every evil and serve you in peace of mind through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Brothers, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Let us go forth to proclaim the gospel of Jesus Christ through the example of your lives and mine. Thanks be to God. God.